Hello there. Today I would like to touch on the subject of resistors. Most of you, like myself, have used resistors from the junk box, so to speak. The uh, even cutouts from old chassis. I've done this for many years, and uh, usually they work all right, but. I've got a stock of resistors that go back well over 30 years and you're going to find that resistors go up in value. The carbon composition type will usually go up in value. And I'm going to show you that now using my digital meter and we'll show you exactly how much they go up compared to what the value is marked on the resistor itself. So let's do that right now. Now like most of you, you probably have your resistors in some sort of order. These uh, particular resistors that I've got in here, I've put in here in the 1960s. So let's take an example here. Here's a 100K TRW. Okay, brown, black, and yellow. And that is supposed to be uh, 100K. So let's put them on the meter and see what we got. Alright, we use the Fluke 73 here. This is my all-around meter. One of a, several that I have here. So let's just set that up and we'll see what we got. Set it on ohms here. The shop is a little warm. The last time you saw one of my videos, the shop was too cold. <laughs> All right, we had to put the fan on here, so that's what you're hearing in the background. So we're getting the resistors out of the um, out of the uh, package here, and we got four of them. And we're going to test them now. So I wonder how good I'm going to be able to do this and hold the camera too, because I didn't bring my mini tripod with me. So let's just see what we can get here. We're going to clip these up now onto the meter. Right, we got my little uh, miniature test clips here that I made up. So let's go on to them now. Okay, right. we'll clip this on here and see what we got. 96.5 kilo ohms. We're not too far off on this one. Let's go check the other ones. 101.9. We're in the ballpark on this one too. All right. One hundred point two. I'll tell you what; these TRWs are right on, pretty close into the ten percent here. So we got no problems with these. But I, I do have some ones that are going to show some very high readings. Okay, we got another uh, uh, drawer out here. Forty-seven hundred ohms. It will be yellow, violet, and red. So let's check forty-seven hundred ohms. This is a brand new one. Come out of my TRW package here. Well, this one here is 5.37 kilo ohms. 5,370 ohms. This one is out of tolerance. Now, these are 1% resistors that I pulled out of the old, old, old computer boards when I used to go up to Boston and to those old flea markets up there back in the 60s. This is a 1% can't do much with short leads like that, but back in those days I had good eyesight. Now I can't see the broad side of a barn. Okay, she's clipped on. I don't know if you can see that, but that's... Uh, my eyesight's so bad, I can't even through the viewfinder, I can't see it. But it's 4.68. So, um... I'm not very good at math, but I don't know. Is that in 1%? I don't think that's within 1%. But uh, the proof that they can change value after many years. Like me, everything's falling apart here. I have to get another clip lead. Hang on. Okay, 120,000 ohms. Brown, red, and yellow. Oh, this baby's reading a little high. This is a brand new resistor. So, you got to be careful when you check your resistors. You start using them, always check them first. Blue, gray, and red. There's the color bands on this guy. 
6.8 thousand ohms. Now that's what's marked and these are new. I'm reading high in this guy. So the moral of the story is always check each resistor that you're going to use. Now another thing I have done, and it's probably not what you'd call kosher, is if you have for instance a hundred thousand ohm resistor and the circuit, uh, circuit calls for a hundred and twenty thousand ohms and that resistor went high and read one hundred and twenty thousand ohms even though it's marked a hundred thousand I've used them. There's no guarantee that that's going to stay at hundred and twenty. It could creep up even more in years to come. But I have done that on occasion when I restored some stuff that really wasn't what you'd call collectible, just trying to get a TV going or a radio going. So it's just food for thought. Thank you for watching my video.